Hey folks, how, how are we? I just want to do a little, you know, check on everybody. I know not everybody's from the U.S., but we had an event this week. We had an event. You know, I had a coworker this week. We had to go in a couple times, and went on one of the days we had this, you know, in-person training, and the coworker, um, the facilitator asked you know, how are people doing? How are they feeling about the day? What, what the day was going to bring us? And this was the day before the, the event, the big event for the, for the, the country. And the person said they were blissfully unaware, completely out of touch. And I was like, wow, that must be it must be nice to, to be so blissfully unaware. They had not been, they had not been reading their emails. They had not been checking. They were completely just checked out. And I'm like, wow, okay, that must be a, that must be a nice place to be. But with that, <laughs> what I thought of um, Thursday, I think it was when I finally um, got my wits about me. I decided to live in that for the next 45 days or so. Um, I'm going to be blissfully unaware or uh, amb amb ambivalent. Amb I don't even know what the word is I'm looking for. I am going to give in to the holidays and what this season is. This is what I put up behind me for work. It's fall, but that will change soon to turkey and then the holiday tree and all this, all the things. I am going to give in to the what the season should be: the festivities, the lights, the you know what is supposed to be a joyous time, and you know try to just we were gonna have some folks be happy some folks be unhappy but in, in, in the end we all have to just keep going and and move on so we are moving on and i am moving on to festivities and the you know how to keep going i'm in my signature black hoodie my uniform and all of the items that I purchased in Chicago have arrived. Some things I purchased on the way home from Chicago <laughs> have arrived. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just moving on. So what's on tap? So tomorrow I am meeting my friend for lunch. We're going up to the big mall up north and shopping, not the good one, uh, with all the luxury stores, but the, um, you know, has a Nordstrom's and the higher end one, but it, the the one um, that's pretty decent. And uh, meeting for lunch, going to shop, and just hang out, catch up. She wants to hear about the trip, so I'm going to tell her all about that. Um, just have a mindless day of girl stuff and the like. So today we're going to pick out, um, you know, new nail polish, handbag for the week. The fragrances, um, yeah, just, you know, change it up, try to start fresh, and keep on keeping on, as they say. So we'll go over and do the things, and I will come back at the end and see if I have any way to wrap this up, so... All right, so this was the tray of the week, and I am pleased to report I did my assignment. I have worn everything on the tray at least once and really enjoyed using everything. So um, let's start back corner. Always enjoy Ate Cologne. I love this fragrance, and I'm so sad it's gone, but... I was able to snag a couple off of eBay of this size, so I have a couple of backups, which is a little bit of a, I guess, consolation prize, 
because I'm down to so little um, in here. But yeah, got a little bit of a backup. All good. Um, orange sanguine, bright citrusy scent. Enjoyed wearing that. We had one sunny day of weather, so that was beautiful. Um, we're going into some rain, I believe, here starting um, for the remainder of the week. And yeah, it was just a nice change of pace. Um, tiara, definitely a richer, um, fall type of fragrance. I really do like wearing this one year round, but I do find myself grabbing it more often in the fall and winter, even though it could be worn at any time, but I, I do enjoy it. Uh, Mirantanka, I do really like this fragrance. I think this might be one of the few, it's a unisex fragrance, and I think it's one of the few that I would consider, along with wood sage and sea salt, getting larger sizes when the time comes. So definitely enjoy that. And then last but not least, a Trap Revs. I really, really like this fragrance. I'm trying to decide if I'm just going to do the... Uh, travel spray refills or if I'm going to go ahead and splurge on a big bottle um, of this fragrance. I, I'm thinking the big bottle and then maybe a is it Hotel Fiant that I'll do the the refills but just depends. Um, I have so much fragrance that I kind of feel bad about buying another large bottle but I, I when I like a fragrance a lot I feel better about buying the large size um just because if it discontinue it I don't want to be without it so yeah we'll look for a new tray and I will be right back I got the tray of the week and it's all Dior all the time <laughs> I am finally going to do it. Uh, let's start over here. So I'm bringing Feb de la Chose out because it's one of my favorite um, of the Privé fragrances, the vanilla. It's a powdery vanilla. Um, I really enjoy this one. Um, but I have the um, exclusive um, Esprit. I have two of them. I actually think a third one's on the way in a sample that I just ordered recently. I think I have Amber and Wheat coming, but I, I only have these two right now, so I'm just going to do it right now. So I have Rouge Trafalgar and the Esprit in a small, little tiny sample, and then I'm going to go head-to-head -head, uh, with the original. And then I have uh, the Gris Dior in a larger size head-to-head -head with the original there. I'm going to do um, some comparisons and see how I like them, if they're even worth it. And because my Platinum membership level, whatever you want to call it, is going to expire on the 20th of November, I may, they have a five-piece set of miniatures. I think it's a little bit bigger than these. Um, it's so expensive. It's like $350 for this like little tiny coffret, but they had sent me an email saying they would double my points. So it would put me back up into platinum status if I make that purchase. So I'm, ha I'm pretty tempted. So if these are good, I may do that and get the last two, which is like lucky. And I think Oud Ipsen, Ipsen? I think so. I will, I will double check. But so this is the tray of the week. I'm going to try these out. And then next week, I'll tell you my thoughts on them. Maybe I'll do a separate video or I'll upload it as a short or something like that too. But it will be uh, next week. But this, this is the tray. All Dior all the time. Do the nail check. I'm still on the healing journey. Um, this nail just broke this morning. Other than that, they're all just kind of, kind of there. So I'm just going to grab another one of these clear top coats and do that for the week. Haven't bought any new, pal new, <laughs> any new nail polish this week. So there's that, but I'm going to do this really quick. So over here, guess who hasn't unboxed anything? My Fendi arrived. So that just got here. So I can do my filming. Oh, sneak peek into what I got. Even Marcus there. Um, yeah, so got to film. Okay, so we carried Trevi this week. I 
On Monday, I had to go into the office, so I just took out my wallet out of here, keys, threw it in the Neverfull, and then Wednesday, I did take this into the office because I didn't have to carry, it was only a half day, so I didn't have to carry my computer, just a notepad, which I threw in here, um, so it was fine for that. She's so <laughs> wonky, but she does, does a job, but... Alas, it is time to, <laughs> I went to the dentist yesterday, so toothbrush, um, phone, get all of the things out of here. I do enjoy carrying her though. She's quite, um, spacious. I have a lot of loose cash in here. Why is that? Um, yeah, I mean, it's like a clown car. It just keeps, stuff just keeps coming out of it have my parking pass just more and more and more stuff that should go in the pencil case is there anything else another receipt lip gloss another pen uh, actually, this one does stay in this purse. I keep, I think I mentioned it before, I keep this organizer in there and I usually try to keep at least a pen in the organizer. But yeah, so we're going to hang this back on one of these bag hook things, put it down. I usually hang it on this curtain rod, curtain rod, closet rod I have built into this wall of shelves. Um, down below and that's where it will store and now I gotta figure out what bag to carry because I think I'm close to carrying everything that I have carried or can carry this time of year so I might be back in something I've already carried oh back I found something something I don't have multiples of something I have not worn and I haven't worn it because I have been soured on this company <laughs> since I got it. And I just threw it up on the top shelf and just didn't even, I don't know. I, I think because I'd wanted it for so long and I was just so, yeah, just in a, in not a right place. <laughs> You'll probably know what it is because I made a video about why I was soured on the, the brand, but it's so not, it's not a practical, I mean, I still have the stupid Tyvek tag on it. I am going to carry the Fendi Spy I bought. I've never carried and I'm so, I was so happy to get her. She's not perfect in any way, shape or form. Um, I mean, there's somewhere over here that I didn't even catch when I first I was just so in unhappy with the unboxing of it that I just kind of put her in her bag and dust bag and just you know yeah I but I need a carrier and we're gonna do it this week I have to go shopping like I said tomorrow with my friend it's impractical for that purpose but I don't care I'm just gonna I'm going to be my 2000 self tomorrow <laughs> and carry it um, just in the mood. So yeah, it's just going to be what it is. Zucca print on the inside. Not the most spacious bag, but it, wow, it's just the, in all its glory, the 2000s. Oh man, it's taking me, taking me so far back. So give me a minute to unpack its uh, plastic -y <laughs> goodness inside. It's keeping its shape and I will uh, be right back. Okay. <laughs> She's deflated. Oh, poor baby. So yeah, there's some loose threads over here. I'm like almost, I mean, I could probably trim them, but I'm a little scared to. So I'm going to leave it as is, but I might reach out to Caleb and see what his thoughts are since he does some 
bag rehab and just see if that's something I could even attempt or if I need to take it to a cobbler or something. Other than that, it's not too bad. Anywho, let's see what we can fit in here because she's a little smaller than I thought. But if I can get all of this stuff in here, I think we'll be fine. So we'll do the pencil case. We'll do sunnies, YSL sunnies, just in case. We'll do some coin. We will do the wallet. Let me figure out this cash situation that needs to go in there. Keys. There is no like storage. It's a big hole. Hobo. I mean, you can put something in this area. I just don't see the need to do that. So um, I'm going to leave that alone. I mean, I guess I could put my, could I put my phone in there? Be a tight squeeze. Let's, let's do a social experiment. No, I mean, it fits. It's just not going to keep, it's not going to do what it needs to do. So that's for like coins, cash, secret compartment kind of stuff, not for your phone. So even if it fits, not wise, but everything else went in There's probably even room for more. I would definitely want a organizer in here, shaper, because it definitely does not hold its shape just putting stuff in it. So it needs a little, little thing. Maybe even um, one of these Chanel. No, that's not big enough. You definitely need an organizer for it. But that is going to be the bag of the week. The Fendi Spy from way back in the day. Napa leather, very beautiful, very vintage, like me. Okay, folks. Well, that's this week. I'm getting like the worst migraine, so I'm sorry I'm not myself, but I'm just, I think I need to go take a nap or something. It's don't happen very often, but every so often they come on. So anywho, um, I did grab, this is the polish of the week, a very thin coat of it. What is this called? Cosmic Unicorn Skin. So that is what we're going to be rocking for the week. I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead. I hope things, you know, if they're, if they're not good for you, they get better. If they are good for you, they continue to stay good and you know, we'll all be here to support each other. So thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. I'm going to go lay down and hopefully this, will, this headache will go away. So I will see you next week. Take care. Bye.